Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this is my Grow Diamond, and it has everything you need, start to finish, veg through flower, to do indoor gardening. Let me show you how this works. All right, let's start at the top with cuttings. It says Clonex Gel, Hydrodynamics makes gel, the cuttings will get the gel. Next, after the cutting, that's your cutting. After the cutting has rooted, you're going to give it some Clonex solution. Clonex solution is like a 111, but even lower. And so it's actually baby food. It's not weak adult food. Clonex solution is actually baby food. There you go. If you like that video, you'll love my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide. It covers everything you need start to finish. All the nutrients, light, CO2, water, everything. And all the equipment, tent, fan ducting, everything you need to know to grow. Buy a copy at your local hydroponic store or from my website, thegrowboss.com. All right, right here, GH Rapid Start. All right, that's one of those things that lives on the roots and it makes the roots want to make roots. That's what GH Rapid Start does. All right, right here in the blue section is 24 hours blue light. Right, so this is for cuttings and clones are gonna gonna get 24 hours, 24 hours of light. If we continue on the next section from here to here, this is going to get 18 hours of light, and you can see it's divided into weeks one, two, three, four. Because this section here, for the cuttings, does not count as veg weeks. That's rooting weeks. Okay, week one, what are we looking at? Well, we want to focus on the roots. Let's, let me clear this space up. Alright, week one, what are we looking at? Well, you're going to top the plant for LST. So if you've got a small plant that looks like this, you're going to top it. And what does that mean? You're going to cut that middle section out right there. I'll show you, it looks like pink, you'll just pop that little middle section out, and that's a top, little boom, take that little middle section out, that's topping it. Okay, another thing it says, move to flower for sea of green, so if you've got a light that's, that's really far away from the plants, you're going to start a sea of green, that requires a lot of plants, that's a little sea of green. You can see how far away from the light it is. It does not require very much penetration. All right, this last part, you'll keep it the plant at about 250 ppm. Remember, ppm should never exceed light. If you've got a 1,000 watt light, your ppm should never be higher than 1,000. Alright, week two, what are we looking at here? Alright, we're up to 500 ppm. If you're in an LST, you may top here again. Now, if you're topping, if you're going into a scrog, so again, if you've got a plant like this, you're going to top it by removing that little section right there. You'll end up with this. Each one of these will grow a couple, and then you'll do the same thing. You'll top this and this, and then these two branches will continue out and then they'll make two more branches and what you end up with is a plant that's real low to the ground with lots of tops like that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, it says move to flower if you've got a three light rotation. Remember, if you've got a veg light like this, if you've got a veg light and a flower light, and another flower light, this is a three light rotation, a one light, there's your one for veg and two for flower. That means that every 30 days you're going to move plants from veg here, and then in 30 days you're going to move plants then to here. Then you're going to move in 30 days plants to here, and 30 days plants to here. That way you get a harvest every 30 days. The alternative would be, is if you had three lights, and you had your veg and your flower, if you started both of these, then you would, at the same time, then you would get a harvest every 60 days. 
right? And then you would also have a super long veg time. Your veg time would be eight weeks. So you'd grow big plants. That's why it doesn't work if you're doing a scrog. It only works if you're doing a three light rotation with a harvest every 30 days. If you like my video, you'll love my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide. It answers every question you guys always ask. It answers every problem you guys always have. I'm the Grow Boss. It's everything you need to know to grow. Guaranteed. Watch my videos. Buy my books. Always shop local. All right, next section. Now, this is the week four before flower. These are the growth additives in this green section right here. Killer Tea. That's a product from Emerald Triangle. And in this last section, you could be at 1,000 ppm if you had a really big plant. If you have moved a flower for one and two light rotations, if you have a one light rotation, you're going to have to veg and flower under that one light. If you have a two light rotation, if you have a two light rotation, you're going to veg under this and flower under this light. So this will be an eight week veg, and this will be an eight week flower. So you have a real long veg. All right, this is the transition box. So to speed the transition, you can give the plant straight 24 hours of light. Then you can give her 36 hours of darkness, then 12 on, 12 off. Personally, I don't do it. You know, it just doesn't really matter that much, but it does help. <clears throat> also, this is where you'll take clones and you'll top and lollipop your plants if you're going to super crop them. <clears throat> also, when you go into flower, remember, the number one problem is your plant, is your plant, if you grow this plant, it's going to, like, yellow from the bottom up. The leaves will yellow from the bottom up, and that's because you don't have enough roots. If you've got a sick plant and you go into flower too soon, forget about it. All right, bottom part of... That was veg. Notice that there's more N in grow, and notice there's less N in flower. So let's talk about the flower box now. Right there, we're going to flip the lights. All right. You've got questions. My No More Grow More Fat cards have answers. Everything you need to know to grow. Guaranteed. All right, let's talk about the flower box. Here's some GH Bloom additives. You might use some Snowstorm Ultra and Crystal Burst. You might use Bushmaster, so if you've got a plant that's going to stretch out, sorry, wrong plant, if you've got a plant that's going to stretch out and really get big, you'd hit her with some Bushmaster and she'd stay kind of short. All right. And then let's see, so this is going to be eight weeks of flower. You can see week two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Weave into trellis if you've got a SOG, a low st stress train, or a SCROG. You might be at 1500 ppm. Some people are as high as that. I never exceed watts. You'll start decreasing the ppm. You'll also decrease the temperature at night for a color change until you end up finishing with zero. Here is a little bit of a conversion table right here. And then let's look at the CO2 next. This part right here is CO2. First time use, CO2, man, that stuff just makes your plants grow. So you don't want the max 1400 ppm your first time out. The plants grow too fast. All right, so follow along, track this along. You can see that this section right here is the transition section. That's the first two weeks. This next four weeks, this is the bud swell. That's where you use your PK boost. And this last part here is finished density. All right, also notice this right here. This is your 12 on, 12 off light schedule. All right, there's a lot of information on this, on this grow diamond. And if you got any questions, you can find this more information in my grow book or in the mini or in those, in those no more grow more fat cards. I'm the grow boss. Safe growing. If you liked my video, you'll love my book, The Grow Book and Equipment Guide. Everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. You've got questions, this book has answers. You've got problems, this book has solutions. Everything you need to know to grow. Watch my videos, buy my books, always shop local.